I am not gang gang. I do not gang bang. But play me like I'm pussy, I will pull up and bang bang. Niggas get knocked out and sit again. This is 50.com. We out here live in effect. The, it's the Heineken sitting towards my left. Let them know who we got, man. Cha-ching, man. Cha-ching. Man. Cha-ching. Yes, sir. West Coast represent him, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Represent for Oakland, man. Yes, sir. What's yes, it sir. like in Oakland, boss, man? Man, you know, it's, it's, it's like any other city that has poverty. You know what I'm saying? Mm. You know, it's, you know, it's the haves and the have-nots. You feel me? <laughs> I mean, we're going to get to your music, but I, I'm curious because you got the Golden State Warriors, even though they're on the other side of the bridge. Right. They've added a lot of value to your town, but then they've taken the Raiders away from your town. What's that like, man? I mean, well, you know, it's like, it's, uh, well, for one, o- Oakland, uh, the, we do got the Warriors in Oakland, still. They not, they not in Frisco. Okay. We got them in our town. Okay. But, but as far as with uh, the Raiders, man, you know, it's going, it's definitely going to hurt us, you know what I'm saying, you know, for the for the people who really them real Raider fans, you know what I'm saying, you got them diehard fans uh, at home, you know. Well, what's it like growing up in Oakland, the music, hip hop scene? Because you know, when people think of your town, they think of the Warriors, they think of the 49ers, even though that's over the bridge. Right. The A's, um, um, E40 is the first thing that comes right. to their mind. Tell us, explain your town from the people well, based on the, you know. Well, well, what I grew up off of is the city is is is, is mob, but then it's funk. It's a little mm. bit of both, you know what I'm saying? That's why you had Too Short who had who mixed in the funk. Too Short, you oh. know what I'm saying? And, you know, and, and underground grace uh, under him, too. But, um, you know, Oakland is one of those cities where the content of music is kind of like going straight to, mm. you know, the normal shit of what's going yeah. on, the party shit, uh, or talking about glorifying, you know, the negative, yeah. you know, things like that. Because, you know, one of the big looks your town got, too, man, was in Black Panther. You know, that's where they started it off in the movie for the Wakanda and everything. You right. Know? Oh, that was a it was a beautiful thing. It made it made Oakland look better. And mm-hmm. what people think we know for having, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, it was poverty everywhere. Mm-hmm. But Oakland is one of those cities where, you know, it's, it's gentrified, just like Brooklyn. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Oh, yeah. You know, so, you yeah. know what I'm saying? We all, you know, that's one story we can talk about all day. It, we, we, we're going to get to that. Let's, <laughs> you know? As an artist, man, how does one from Oakland get their music? Aside, you know, it's easy with the internet, but to really connect with the people in various states on the East Coast. How do, how do you get it to land the way you need it to, man? Well, you know, it's all about connecting the dots. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, certain niggas got the cheat sheet, certain niggas And got nothing it. wrong with that. Everyone's cheating, my nigga. <laughs> Everyone man, is cheating. Certain niggas got the cheat sheet and certain niggas don't, man. Shout out to my nigga Smith, man. We working plays. BDM, man. Putting, you know, BDM, we making shit happen out here in the East Coast. And, you know, I'm just thankful for being able to take my talent and, and, and do some work up this way and make some moves, man. Shout out to my nigga Smith. Mm-hmm. You feel me? BDM. And now you're in a particular scenario where you grew up in one era of music, you know, really the, it's infusing you. I can see right. you got the Cali aura on you. Right. But now it's a lot of young dude. It's, it, the dynamic has shift. What's the balance been like for you, man? Well, I'm, well the beginning of my balance starts from the home. Mm. And I'm going to tell you, I'm, I'm, I'm a person who grew up around musicians. My pops played for Tony, Tony, Tony 15 years. He owned a lot oh. of people albums. So he a legend in Oakland by himself as far mm-hmm. as music. But as far as me being a person that had balance, I listen to jazz, man. So mm. I listen to different sounds, man. So it bring me to a, a level in life where it's, it's, it's that smooth balance where I can be at a, you know, no, no part, part, both parts of the field, you know what I'm saying, from street to being I- cool. And now, how does that affect your music, man? Because, well, you know, people are quick to say, uh, you're, like, it's it's really known now. They don't want to deal with an artist that's under, that's over 24, man. Right. Well, you know, the thing is this. The thing about creativity is when you're creating, it has no age. Mm-hmm. So I've been creating for a long time, and I'm at, I'm at a point where the creativity is making sense. Mm-hmm. The moves is making sense. The music is coming out great, and I'm not tri- I'm not worried about trying to keep up with with other people's content and other people's waves because I'm a trendsetter and I'm creating my own. Now you're a street dude, man. Not to put it out there, out there. What's the transition like? Because you know you're putting your music out there and you're giving your life, and right. you know at any. I see my boy Rallo get jammed up. I didn't see other dudes get jammed. Well, you up. know it's 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 like I said in the content mm-hmm. and and your lifestyle. And, and I'm, the, I'm the type of person that is, I talk about what I, I talk about, the life that I live. You know, I'm, I'm, also, I'm, a, I'm a simple dude. I'm, 
You know, I, I take care of my kids. I'm a family Ain't nothing man. Wrong with I, go that, to, man. I go to work like a regular man. And a lot of people don't like to talk about that type of stuff. Mm -hmm. But this is the part of the struggle that builds you. And I'm showing the world that, and that's what type of artist I am. I, I want to talk about ain't nothing wrong with showing that you got to come up from the struggle, showing that. I, most people would ask the general question, what's your sound like? Let's fuck that shit. Right. When they go to Spotify and they click on cha-ching, right. what's that experience like? Where you are you taking gonna, them you to? Gonna, man, you're going you're gonna to be putting them, well, put it like this. I got the first mixtape I put out. It's on iTunes. It's called Just Ride and Keep Quiet, Value One. Let's go. And... It's one of the ones where you just smoke and ride it, you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, and, and, and think about life. But then I can jump into different, you know, genres of, 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 of you know, having, uh, you know, lyrical content. You know what I'm saying? What's been the most like shocking thing? Because, you know, people, when they get in the industry, they start seeing things from the inside and it don't be looking like what it's supposed to look like, man. What's the most shocking thing you've seen so far? Well, I mean, you know, it's just a lot of Hollywood shit, a lot of yeah. faking it to make it, mm. a lot of a lot of people um, being followers. You know what I'm saying? Mm. You know, like it's I like said, high school, man. It, it really is. It really <laughs> is. And, it, and and you know, the, you know, it's just I'm I'm not one of the type of person people that like to you know follow trends. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I like to you know. You know, you know, be innovative, man. Do yeah. your own thing, you know? Yo, man, <laughs> I heard, man, I don't know how accurate this is. You threw almost 100K in a strip club when 50 was in there, man. Nah, man, nah, nah, nah. That ain't me, man. Ain't oh, okay. <laughs> nah, I'm going to keep it a buck, man. Oh. I can't even lie like that. I'm 100, man. Reality records, we represent the real. Reality and, and workers. If I, and, if I, and if I didn't have it to do it, I probably wouldn't do it, to be honest with you. Understood. You know what I'm saying? I probably would. Well, listen, I would have did that shit, man. You know, I mean, if it, And know, I would have picked that shit back up, just like I <laughs> 50 like did. Just like I 50 did. Yo, listen, my cousin That's said right. the realest shit. If he wastes his money on the stripper... Two, you gotta have two mindsets. That's money that fell out of your pocket, right? Or he's gonna drop a chair on one of them bitches. Man, dude. man, I seen a nigga drop a chair right. on a bitch. I understand. See, the thing is this: I understand that the strippers gotta work too. So don't get me wrong. I wouldn't fight for your I'm hood, not though, saying bitch. That I ain't gonna throw you know throw no money out because I understand. No, I'm gonna throw to my do. money. Business, but what? The, but it gotta be you know timing Listen, and everything. Smith's boy K Slate one time was in a strip club with DJ Drama, and I'll never forget this. I think K Slate threw like five bands and, and drama standing right now. And drama's from Atlanta. So the culture's different. So you know New York girls ain't used to seeing that at that time rain. So they stopped dancing and they started picking up the money on the floor. This nigga drama got on the mic. He said, yo, leave that motherfucking money on the floor. Right. And then hey, you don't pick that shit up until the night's over. I think a slave was like this. <laughs> you know? <laughs> that's one you know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's yeah. that's the culture, man. Yeah, you know, like I said, it's a it's a it's a it's a part of the wave, man. I understand that, you know, ladies gotta get their money, you know what I'm saying? You know, well, much, what's one like celebrity or person of notoriety that interacted with you in a way that shocked you or have have you gotten to that point yet? Um, I haven't got to that point, but I but I have worked with a lot of local legends who, who can mm. take that, you know. Such as you know, one is Mr. Fab out of oh, Oakland. Oh, F A P Ooh. Mr. Fab out of Oakland. He blessed me with the verse on the song that I got called Take Off, mm -hmm. produced by my guy Roots. Mm -hmm. And uh man, it was just a blessing, you know, he was feeling the vibe and he you know Most, cause you know his rhythmic pattern and his style of how he performs his songs is so unique, man. Right. What right. was that like? trying to like figure out that flow you just said fuck it i'm gonna let him do him and i'm gonna yeah do you know the thing is this we already had the song pretty much complete and it was a thing like you know what little bro let me get on this so mm. it was like it was like me showing uh, just showing love man fab one of them type of people he show a lot of love in the city and then i was one of them type of people who got blessed one of them verses man shout out to mr fab for that much love to you bro and any any famous women or celebrity chicks you're going after don't nah. say, you know, don't do this. Don't do this shit to me. Do this shit to Complex or whatever other place you going to. Man. Listen, <laughs> you start naming them, I'm like, I'm going to, I'm, I want to fuck her raw. You name any yeah. of them, I'm well, going to fuck her it's raw. A, it's a lot of beautiful women in the industry. Listen, but I'm don't do that passive shit. They don't want to hear that me. shit. Listen to me. I know they All don't right. want to hear. Oh, yeah. Mama, shake. <laughs> I know they don't want to hear. <laughs> but look, I'm the, I'm, I'm the type of person. Nigga, you got man. hazel eyes. Cheat. <laughs> you got the cheat code, B. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> man, I man, I got one woman in my life, man. Oh, okay, and I, treat her like I my didn't queen, know. Man. I, my, so, so my bad. I'm, I'm the type of person is you build up what you have. 
Yep. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to build up nothing that's already that 100,000 niggas is chasing. That's you know true. what I'm saying? I'd rather build up what I got, man, and we and we and we come together, you know what I'm saying? And, and I got kids, man, by the by the same woman. You know, oh, oh, so, same, you know oh, oh, shit. A, I'm about unity, man. I'm about structure, man. So yeah, it's just, you I know, respect that. that's a part of my loyalty, man. Black Panther vibe, man. Oh yeah, it's real serious with us, man. It's real yeah, serious. it's, it's it, yeah. explain that because people we don't see black well, Panthers I love out my here. People. I love my people, and it's a funny pack. Funny fact is, mm. it's a lot of black people in New York City. I've never seen as much black people really? walking around the city as this, because where we from? I'm jaded. It's a lot of it's a lot of Mexicans. Oh, you know California. It's California, so you got black people, but you got Mexicans too. And, you know, shout out to my amigo homies and shit like that. My my, my Latino and. Mexican family, you know, but yeah, it's like you know, it's a, it's a, it's an in between, man. You know, it's it's real diverse coming from California, but Oakland being one of them places where, you know, where Huey P. Newton came, out, oh, you definitely know, Bobby yeah. Seale, you know, what I'm saying, yeah. like real, real factors outside of Oakland, you know, that represent something, you know, and that's just one of them places where we take that politics shit serious. Uh, what does Marshawn Lynch mean to your city, man? Marshawn Lynch is a major factor through the city, man. He does a lot for the city. Um, mm. I actually went to school with uh, with him for a while uh, mm. at Open Tech. But, um, yeah, he's a major factor for the city. He does a lot of fundraisers, a lot of giving back to Oakland. That's dope. Because one a crazy story before we close a couple of when he would drive his Ferrari, I don't know if he still does this, he'd have these, like, valet poles in the trunk of his Ferrari, he would put it out so niggas wouldn't touch his shit. Right, right. <laughs> that's, right. I just thought that was always that's just, him. <laughs> that's just that's just boss right there. Like, nah, leave my shit alone. <laughs> my step my, my step pops does that. He got these cones he puts around his whip. He's like, yeah, I dare you niggas to touch my shit. Right. Well, how does how does your town feel about Steph Curry? Do they? They identify? love him, man. We love Steph Curry, man. The Bay okay. Area love Steph Curry. You know, he he one of them type of you know um, you know. Professional players who actually bring it back home for us, you know, he got us looking real good, you know, and then everybody else start just coming. Oh know, yeah, so. all right. everybody. If you wasn't there for Tim Hardaway, Chris Mullen, right, and right. And, and, and Mitch Original. Richmond, right. get the fuck out of here, Andres right. Beatrice right. and Baron Original. Davis, yeah. Right. Nah, I don't want right. to hear. Oh yeah, I was a Warriors fan for four years, nigga. You just right. Anything <laughs> you want to let the people know as we close out, man? You know, it's all love, man. You know, holla at me on a. On Instagram, Cha-Ching Music, at Cha-Ching Music. Let's That's Cha-Ching without the I. Y'all also can check me out on ChaChingMusic.com, man. Y'all stay in tune. Bang, man. bang, Cha-Ching. This is 50. Let them know where they can get the music, too, man. iTunes. I got Just Ride a Key Quiet Volume 1 on iTunes. Mm -hmm. I got my second mixtape that I just dropped called Birth from a Singer and a Guitar Player. That's on uh, iTunes and all all your you your, your, your services. You trying to see? And, and um, I got Fred the Godson on oh, there. Oh, that's my yeah, nigga. Yeah, man. That's some bars right there. I got Fred there. the Godson on there, man. You know, uh, you know, my nigga Smith put them plays together, yeah. man. Once again, that's you know, a lyrical that animal, be right, man. And he, you know, he's you know, he came in there and did his thing. And we're gonna close it out with this. What are you looking to f accomplish before the year is over? Just um, you know, just just more success. Man. More success. Just any more success. any particular goal you're looking like a goal that you're like I need to do this. I, just just to say consistent. Stay consistent. Because that's because consistency is key to to pursuing right. anything. Boom. You know Ching. This is fifty. Salute to Smith. Salute to Oakland, Brooklyn. We out here. We out Bang. Here. Uh, yeah, yeah. Go get the strap. Uh, yeah, yeah. Go get the strap. Uh, go get the strap. Uh, nigga, go get the strap.